Hello? That's better! Oh my god! Hey guys. So, Emmeline, huh? Huh? If I was single, I'm, I mean, you're, you're, you're beautiful. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> See, I have a girl in the audience right now, so it's, I, I, have to, I have to kind of watch what I say a little bit. But I'm going to go ahead and start a little comedy bit for you. So how about black people? <laughs> I wish I could see your guys' faces. No, it's not going to be one of those kind of bits. <laughs> All right. So, no, seriously, though, yeah, I mean, racism, stuff like that, it's, it's terrible. But we've made some great strides over the last, like, 50, 60 years. It's fantastic. But there's a couple of things out there that are just, I feel like we're still having setbacks on. One of the big things that's always affected me in my life is, uh, I'm a white guy and I have a passion for food, but for the life of me, I can't get a job at any Chinese place. <laughs> Thank you, that was, I, I like that pity laugh. <laughs> no, it's just one of those things, it's just like, you know, it's a family business, I get that. But I think a really, really big one that nobody seems to have, uh, to realize yet, or, or maybe we're purposely, uh, purpo maybe there's, there's some purpose keeping it down low, but men and women, they still have separate bathrooms. <laughs> Man, I mean, I thought we got rid you know, of you know, the black and white water fountains, but women, they still get their own bathrooms. And they're nicer. You know what? I discovered that too. I'm sitting there thinking that we've been keeping women down or something like that, but you know what, guys? I've been in a woman's restroom. The reason why is not important. <laughs> but, no, it is not. <laughs> Don't, I, I will come down there. I'll keep this pose. Is the photographer getting this? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but seriously, it's, you know, women's bathrooms are nicer. You know, they, they keep them cleaner. They have stalls, you don't have that awkward thing where you're making eye contact with someone while you're peeing. You don't understand how terrible that is, girls. It's, it's, it's so, it's so weird. Russ, you need to stop looking at me while I pee. Just saying, bro. Ah, uh, you got me there. No, I mean, they got potpourri and stuff. I mean, seriously, sometimes I feel like there should be a wine bar in some of these women's bathrooms. But you go in the men's bathroom, you know, they don't keep it clean at all. And it's not like we're peeing all over the walls or anything. They just don't, they just don't keep it, uh, you know, clean in there. And you can't say it's because you know, women are cleaner than men. I have a sister, all right? I've shared a bathroom with her for 20 years, okay? That, that girl is nasty, all right? Hi, Jennifer, how you doing? You're gonna see this later. But no, so I'm sitting there thinking, I'm just like, why, why? And it, it turns out, guys, we're being the ones oppressed. We need to be the ones out in streets with jock straps burning them going, where is our unisex bathrooms? <laughs> Women are bitches, man. I mean, I love you, honey. I'm going to be single by the end of the night. No, serious though. Uh, unisex bathrooms though. I, I know we've had jokes here about it being sexy, but seriously, there's nothing sexy about a bathroom. Oh no, there's, a, you know, any couple that's been living for a while can tell you about that. If you walk into your bathroom and your girl that you've been living with for a couple years is sitting there sick on the toilet, that is not hot at all. Really, no, that's... No, no, but, it, but it's, it's, it's a taboo aspect. And so we have that in our mindset that, oh, unisex bathrooms are so hot. Let me tell you something. The only people that have sex in unisex bathrooms are people that can't have sex at home. You got, you got kids. You got people that are cheating. And then you got people that are too drunk to drive home. I mean, that's really what it is. Thank you, thank you. And now, I'm gonna test the spotlights. They're good, I'm not fast enough, that's probably what it is. All right, so, no, but I, I'm glad that I've reached a point in my life where I no longer do anything like that. I mean, I've never done anything like that. Oh God, she's gonna kill me. No, I'm, I'm 25 years old now, I turned 25 a couple days ago. Virgos unite! No, I'm kidding. We're never going to unite. I mean, we're all, we're all talk. We're, we're really lazy, though. But uh, I'm a 
quarter of a century old. Damn. That's like, that's a big thing for me. I am so old. <laughs> no, but seriously, like, with, with the oldest, though. Oh, come on, you're young at heart, honey. <laughs> no, seriously, though, there's a couple of things that you really, you really re realize when you get older, you know? Besides, like, the, the aches and pains when you get up in the morning. Might have something to do with because you can't sleep on a futon anymore. I love you, Brian. No, but not only that, you have the issue where uh, suddenly if you're doing anything online and you have to put in your birthday, suddenly you have to scroll to your year. It's just not right there anymore. You don't seem to realize older guys our fingers don't work as nearly as it our, our should be up first. The oldest guy in the world, that should be the first number on there. Everyone else needs to scroll down. You young kids, I mean, come on. No, but there's some, there's some fantastic benefits to getting a little bit older. I have some great, great stories. I, I know my, my mom tells me this one all the time. Uh, when I was like, I guess first or second grade, apparently I made up this joke. I don't know how true it is. But the joke essentially goes like this. Three little piggies walked into a diner. It's breakfast time. They sat down at the table and two piggies ordered waffles and the third little piggy just ordered a glass of water. All right. Well, same diner, same waitress, in fact. They come back during lunch rush. Sit down. Two of the piggies have soups and salads. And the other little piggy just has a glass of water. Well. This waitress, she was working a double that day, and it was a oh, really rough day. But these same little piggies came in for dinner time. You know, two of the piggies had some like lasagna stuff, but the third piggy had just a glass of water. And finally, the waitress just asked her, little piggy, why do you always just get a glass of water? The little piggy goes, well, someone has to go wee 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 all the way home. <laughs> ah, pity laughs. I, uh, <laughs> No, there's some, there's, some, uh, there's some other fantastic stories I have. Some of them are just, you know, like, fuck you stories. By the way, I said the first fuck of the night. That's awesome. Fair enough. I'm the first fuck on stage while well, it's recording. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> no, I have some awesome stories. Like, uh, I remember this, this girl I used to work with who had the most douchebaggiest boyfriend in the world. And this guy, he always liked to surround himself by the most incredibly stupid people. Like, the, the only friends he liked of his girlfriends were, were dumb people. And when he always test them by doing, like, magic tricks and stuff like that. But, you know, me, I could figure out all those stupid little card tricks and stuff. So he came up with another way to try to make himself feel better about, you know, me hanging around his girl by just going, oh, that guy's gay. Chris told gay. Showed him, though. Fucked his girlfriend. I mean, we just hung out together a lot. Oh, God. Shit. I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna be broken up. I'm gonna be castrated by the end of the night. And the Russ is gonna make a joke that I can still use the unisex bathrooms. <laughs> you were gonna make that joke, be honest. <laughs> no, but there's some, else, there's some other, like, fantastic stories. Like, there's a, uh, my friend Ben from, uh, from elementary school. I've told a couple of people this story, but. Our elementary school, we had these, uh, we had these walls that didn't quite go up all the way. They had like a, like a foot of space there. And so the, whenever there was like reading time in the school, every class had to do it at the exact same time so that, you know, well, like the next class's lecture didn't ruin anything. And then my buddy Ben, he wasn't even, he's not in my classroom, he's not even the next one, he's in the next, next one. And it's just super quiet over the entire school. And then suddenly you hear a desk slam shut and him scream, oh God, my penis! Tell, tell you, for a fifth grader? That was fucking hilarious! <laughs> Teachers are just like, oh, and us, we're just like, ah, oh, class is done. Like, oh, everyone's going home. But no, uh, like, uh, the, the good last story I have for you though, I was one with my little brother. I've told this actually on stage uh, during the thing we don't talk about. It's about, it's about my little brother. Me and him used to hang out just all the time and, and just essentially like look at pictures and stuff on the internet and just laugh. 
But one day I was on Facebook and I just kind of commented under my breath, damn it, she's not online. I don't even remember who I was talking about. My little brother goes, who? Your girlfriend? So I hit him, just real quick. And so he picks up his chair and he scoots it a little farther away from me, just out of arm's reach and he sits back down. And he goes, who? Your girlfriend? And then I stand up abruptly and all I can hear is a scream, oh God, I forgot you could stand. <laughs> Needless to say, that humor, like anything that I was planning on doing to him, you know, for like brotherly, like, oh, I'm gonna beat you, oh no. That kid got a free pass right then and there. But the only things I always like to think about though is, even though I'm getting older, regardless if I'm, if I'm weeing all the way home, or if I'm peeing in a unisex bathroom, I can always stand, and that's awesome. You guys have a good night.